Hey, what's going on everybody? Hope you guys are doing great. Happy Saturday. We're finally here. We got the playoffs. We have four matchups today. Going to be a great weekend. Um, so yeah, be sure to like and subscribe. Check out all my links in the description below. If you guys want to bet on NBA player props for the playoffs, go ahead and hop in Parlay Play. It's free to sign up. You're going to get free entries just for hopping in there. Take advantage. Enjoy these games today. Hopefully you get some nice wins. And yeah, we'll hop in it. Four matchups. It's going to be an action-packed day. If you guys watched those games yesterday, I mean, what a Atlanta coming back to win uh, after they were getting dominated by Cleveland the whole game. Same with the Pelicans. That game, Pelicans game, was crazy. They were dominating the first half and then ended up getting killed the second half, but then fought back and ended up beating the Clippers. Two great games. Going to be a great weekend here. First matchup, we had the Utah Jazz versus the Dallas Mavericks. Jazz opening up as five-point road favorites with the over-under at 209.5. The last 10 head-to-head, -head, Jazz 6-4, and 3-6-1 three, and one covering the spread. They're a very bad spread team. 4-10, uh, and 10. the over's hit in four out of the last 10 matchups. Um, I mean, look, we know, what, we know what the deal is here. No Luka. The Mavs should not have played Luka in the last game. It's insane. That's going to haunt the Mavs all season if they get knocked out first round. Luka had no business playing because he's in jeopardy of missing multiple games in this series. Um, this is going to be this is going to be a real question question mark game here because the um, Jazz Jazz they don't have the chemistry. They really don't. You've seen all the reports already about Donovan Mitchell, Gobert leave, wanting to leave. The locker room doesn't seem legit. Um, a lot of question marks with Utah. They're 2-8-1 and one covering the spread. 0-5 oh, covering against Dallas. 1-4 and four covering on the road against Dallas. Dallas, 6-0 and oh at home. They're a great home team. 6-1 and one covering at home. Look, as long as the Mavs are in the playoffs, you already know this is going to be the most biased pick ever. So, um, and you know, I really don't care. Anytime after in the playoffs, you already know I'm rolling with the Mavs every time. Definitely taking Mavs plus five at home. Even plus 260. I'm not scared of that without Luka. Trust me. Me being a Mavs fan, trust me, we, we do need Luka. But don't get, let's not, let, let's be real. We have, we have a great team and great ball handlers. Jalen Brunson and Spencer Dinwiddie are more than capable of at least carrying us for at least two games at home until Luka gets back. Guaranteed. We have perfect matchups. Maybe Gobert probably uh, is at a disadvantage for us, uh, but Gobert's not really a scorer, you know? So uh, I think we match up very well. I think Brunson and Dinwiddie, if they can take over, I think Mavs win this at home here. People, pe everyone's going to be on Jazz without Luca, and I think they're going to be a little bit surprised. And um, Mavs are a great team, giving them plus five at home without Luca. I think it's still disrespectful. Give me Mavs plus five at home. Next matchup, we have the Minnesota Timberwolves versus the Memphis Grizzlies. Grizzlies opening up as six and a half point home favorites, with the over under at two thirty six and a half. The last 10 head-to-head -head Memphis, 8-2. Eight 8-2 and two. Eight and two covering the spread. The overs hit in 6 out of the last 10 matchups. Um, yeah, you know, Minnesota fought hard to get in here, winning that uh, Clippers game. Um, Minnesota, 2-8 and eight covering against Memphis. 0-5 oh covering on the road against Memphis. They haven't been able to beat Memphis. Memphis, 10-1 and one at home. I'll tell you what, Memphis, they are low-key, probably this I, I think they're the scariest team in the playoffs. 56 wins for this Grizzlies team. I mean, what John Morant and these other guys like Bain um are doing and you know, Steven Adams, this team is freaking great. And um people are gonna look at the talent with Minnesota with Carl Anthony Towns, Russell, Edwards, and uh, probably lean with Minnesota, maybe, but 
Man, you guys are really underestimating the Grizzlies here. I'm excited to see what they do in the playoffs. They've been dominant all season. Great home team, dominant against Minnesota. I'm not in love with these with these six, seven point spreads for the first game. I'm staying away from the spreads. I'm taking, I'm just kind of rolling with money lines here, unless I find a good underdog spread I like. But um, um, you know, to see how the series starts. Game ones, you just never know. And seven points in the playoffs, I don't trust it one bit. I'm going to roll with the Grizzlies at home. Next matchup, we have the Toronto Raptors versus the Philadelphia 76ers. Sixers opening up as four and a half point home favorites with the over under at 216. The last 10 head to head Toronto is six and four. Six and four covering the spread. The over sit in four out of the last 10 matchups. Um, yeah, Toronto did beat. Philly a few days ago, 119 to 114. Uh, Toronto five and one covering against Philly, ten and five against Philly. Um, Philly one and four covering the spread. I don't know why this series, man. You would think Philly would be the better team here, but man, I just smell an upset potential in this series with the Raptors. Harden just hasn't been playing all that good a lot of pressures on James Harden here I don't know why man I just have a feeling Sixers are just gonna are just gonna blow this serious or realistically that they, they should probably sweep the Raptors I could see the Raptors pushing it to seven games I really could here I think plus four and a half points is too much for game one um, I'm gonna take Toronto plus four and a half on the road for a money line play I do like the Sixers to sneak out of this one. We're going to see how they play. They do seem more talented, but this is a good Toronto Raptors team. Really good Toronto Raptors team. Giving them plus four and a half. I think it's kind of crazy. Taking Raptors spread. And then I do like the Philly money line at home. Then the last matchup, we have the Denver Nuggets versus the Golden State Warriors. Warriors opening up at six and a half point home favorites with the over under at 223 the last 10 head to head split down the middle five and five the warriors are seven and three covering the spread no Campazo for denver he's suspended for this game curry seems good to go unless there's anything crazy this is the night game barring any kind of changes he does seem on track to play so be sure to check his status i do feel like he's good to go um Warriors coming into this on a five game winning streak. Denver three and nine covering against the Warriors. Two and five covering on the road against the Warriors. This is a very scary Warriors team. I mean, they're coming into this healthy. Clay, Draymond, Curry, Wiggins. I mean, this is a really good Warriors team. Very scary kind of championship kind of team here. Fully healthy. Um, not in love with the spread at home. Gotta roll with Warriors game one. See how Denver adjusts. Even without Compazzo. Compazzo is one of those uh, high energy guys that they do need. So they'll definitely need him for this series. But um, we know Jokic is going to have a great game. I mean, he has to. He has to put up 50, 40, 50 points for them to really to really even get to have a chance. Hard to fade the Warriors at home. Coming into this fully healthy. I'm staying away from the spread. I just don't trust either spread right now in game one. We're going to see what happens. I do like the Warriors money line at home. And that's going to be it for the video. Good luck with your picks and parlays on Saturday. Hope you guys all cash out and I'll see you guys Sunday. Have a good one.